Now, let's answer a question from random post that ito ay post kay Ma'am Josan dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Basahin muna natin yung question. A boat takes four-fifths as much time to travel downstream as its return. If the rate of the river's current is six, what is the rate of the boat in still water? At para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin, pero wag kayong mag-message na dyan at tambak na yan ang mga messages. Kung meron kayong concern dito na lang sa Leonaline Vlog or pwede rin dito sa Free Reviewers Managed by Leonaline. Para naman sa naghanap ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, punta kayo sa files ng grupong ito, Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Kung paano maka-download, ilalagay ko yung link sa description ng video ito. Yung instruction ba. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. By the way, ito naman yung dalawang posibleng makatulong sa'yo, sa inyo, yung FB pages na yan. Now, doon na tayo sa ating problem. Pasahin natin ulit. A boat takes four-fifth as much time to travel downstream as to its return. If the rate of the river's current is six, six kilometers per hour, what is the rate of the boat in still water? Doon muna tayo sa short. Four fifty yan. Meron tayong yung the rate of the reverse current i six. Yan ay multiply mo sa four. I multiply mo rin sa five. Four times six is twenty four. Five times six is thirty. I add mo lang yan siya fifty four. Kaya ang sagot dito fifty four kilometers per hour. What is the rate of the boat in still water? Fifty four kilometers per hour. Now let's do the algebraic way of solving this. Let x be the rate of the boat in still water. Let x be the rate of the boat in still water. If the rate of the river stream is 6, so that will be x plus 6. Yan yung speed downstream. Speed naman upstream, x minus 6. Kasi nga, Mag-go against ka sa mismong current. Ang rate of the reverse current ay 6. So, mag plus 6 ka sa speed. Yung x natin ay yan yung boat. Yung rate of the boat in still water. So, mag plus 6 tayo kasi nga together siya sa downstream. Yan yung reverse current. Mag minus 6 tayo kasi upstream. Kaya mag minus 6 tayo kasi Nandun yung current ng river na mag-go against ka. Kaya, minus 6 yung speed dyan. Ngayon, bakit tayo merong equal sign dyan? Kasi, yung distance going downstream at dis distance, 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 ay equal sa distance going upstream. So, ngayon na boat takes Four-fifth as much time to travel downstream. Dito natin yan, i-multiply. Four-fifth. So, i-multiply natin yan dyan. Next. Itong four-fifth. Yung denominator na five. Since pang divide siya dyan. Kasi ito, pariho lang na four over five. Pariho lang yan siya. Now, since si 5 ay pang-divide dyan, pang-multiply na siya dito sa kabila. So, this will be 4 times x plus 6 equals 5 times x minus 6. 4 times x, 4x. 4 times 6, that is, plus 24. 5 times x, 5x. 5 times negative 6, that is negative 30. Ipagsama natin yung mga like terms. 4x, 5x. Imbis na going to the left side tayo, going tayo sa right side, para wala tayong negative. 4, 5, mas malaki si 5. So, i-keep natin si 5. Si 4x ang i-transfer natin. 
Si si 4x ay positive yan siya. Kapag ma-transfer, maging pang minus na siya sa 5x. So, this will be 5x minus 4x. Nandito lang si 24. Yan si 24. Ito namang si minus 30. Since pang minus siya dyan, kapag ma-transfer, pang add na siya sa kabila. So, we have 24 plus 30 and this is 54. 5x minus 4x and that is 1x or x na lang. Ano nga ba yung x? The rate of the boat in still water. Yan yung x natin. At ang value ni x dito ay 54. So therefore, ang sagot dito ay 54 kilometers per hour. Thank you for watching at laging tandaan, never memorize the answer because that will never help you, kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.